What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Comic Review Podcast. Whatever. I'm Chris, and with me, as always, is my buddy, Jesse. How's it going? And as always, if you didn't know, we gonna recap. We gonna recap? We're recapping the latest issue of The Walking Dead comic by our friend Kirkman. We like to call him Kirkman here at Third Person. Oh, yeah. But, but we don't know him personally. Guys, what's up? Issue 166, No Surrender of The Walking Dead. I mean, damn. Just yeah. what a what a sick what a sick um issue almost said episode. <laughs> yeah. I really love the artwork for this cover here. It it's just it's perfect. Yeah. It's really uh, good. John's man. his name, I think, with the one yeah, eye. It's John, yeah. One eyed John, there we go. That's what we should call. One eyed John, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Kirkman and um the whole like group at Skybound, they really do a great job. Yeah, hell yeah. So, let's recap it. Let's do it, man. We start off with Andrea and their reaction from where we left off with Andrea being bitten. Yep. Andrea tells them more or less, shut up. I know. Let's go get to work. And they get to work. Then we go straight over to uh, <laughs> Rick and company, Negan. And they they meet up with Siddick, um, Annie, and I think Vincent's his name. We got them. Yeah, but wait, before and, before huh? they, it was funny because he's like, "Where the hell were you guys?" And he's like, "No, and we was like, we was coming around the back. We we." He's like, "Nah, you were fucking hiding, you fucking assholes." Um, so, I love yeah. how Negan's stepping up, even though I don't think it's gonna last long. You know, I mean, it's crazy because he's like, he's not, he's not, he's yeah, he's kind of like just being part of the fucking team, but still being his his dickhead self. But yeah, so anyway, like you said, so then they they start they start the clean up and then. Uh, Carl. Carl shows up, which is great. You know? Yeah. Very, uh, very touching, actually. I, I kind of like this. this. This got to me a little bit. Yeah, it was cool. It was it's ba- back here, this last panel here on the, on the bottom right, it's like, stop! I, I was like, who yelled stop? Was it Carl? Oh, God, dude. Uh, I don't know. I, because Carl says, oh, God. And I was like, oh, shit. Because he I wouldn't have tell. said stop. He wouldn't have said stop. But anyway, pretty cool, right? And um, I just like how uh, Lydia was like, oh, you should have seen him. He was this. He was that. Yeah, you would have been proud. I was proud. proud of him. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. All right. So go ahead. I just wanted to interject and all that. Then we go from there. They're getting surrounded by walkers again. And uh, who saves them but the saviors? Yeah. Oh, God okay. dang it. That was horrible. <laughs> Fucking Sherry. I know. We were like, oh. I was like, damn it. You Saved by the fish. saviors. Yeah. The Look, there's Heath. One thing you don't want to happen. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. There is Heath. Yeah. So used to not seeing him anymore in the show. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I really love how they have uh, Dwight on his knees with his hands behind his head. And yeah. then somehow, after this exchange here, he takes the gun. That just shows you how freaking bad to the bone Dwight is. Yeah, Dwight's awesome in the comic. He's really fucking cool. I hope if they do that in the show, that's kind of like a rival for the... Uh, for Dix, uh, Dixon, you know, Daryl. What? Why can't I talk? It's kind of like a rival for Daryl because Daryl's that grody, you know, yeah. kind of jack of all trades. The one that would guy. take the gun and point it at you. Yeah, but then again, you know what? It could really be a cool dynamic if there's the two of them on there, you know? They're very different. Very interesting. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, possibly. Uh, oh, yeah, Ruby Rose. That's oh, Ruby God. Rose right there. What? Yeah. It is. Come on. Tell me that's it, not. It, it is. It is. It definitely is. Right? Tara is her name, I believe. Right. Even though she looks something like the show Tara, right. who is exactly. not in the comic at all. Yeah. I like, you know what I like here, man? I like how they were like, he yells, into position, and then his crew immediately, Just, hey, <laughs> we got our guns. You know? I, f- I really, I really enjoyed that. I thought that was pretty cool. Like, very tense. Like, oh, shit, it's a fucking standoff. And, and like, fucking, Rick's like, wait, 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 wait. What the, what the shit is going on here? Something I didn't know. I've read this, like, three times now. Yeah. I didn't notice at first, but Dwight has started crying because he knows he's going to have to shoot Sherry. Yeah. And yeah. I mean that that's just amazing. And then we get the next panel there where they're just they're not listening to Rick at all. Yeah. And he's like, "Stop. Yep. Lower your guns. Go on. Tots." <laughs> you know, yeah. And I I like it, man. They all, and then they all listen to him, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's fucking crazy. They really do such a good job illustrating this comic. 
and to see the spittle come off when Rick's yelling. Yeah, I know. It, cool. It's yeah, they do it real good. You know what's interesting is like this is this is one of the first black and white comics that I've I've ever read, and um, it really is. It's I mean, yeah. it's just it's not really black and white. It's monochrome, right? Because monochrome has got the shades of gray and stuff like that, and, and lights yeah. and darks and, and whatnot. But I mean, it's it's really just yeah. It just it, to me, it's color. It doesn't like you know what I mean. Like I don't see the black and white aspect. Oh, I see, I see, I see like color. top right panel up there. I see Rick's yep. beard. Is yeah, like exactly. That's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah, exactly. It's really cool how that works out. So, um, yeah, like you said, you know, so they, you know, he so he's over here going, look, look, look. We need to just let's just stop and talk and look at Sherry's face. She's pissed. She's fucking pissed, dude. I really had no idea where this was gonna go. You know I what did I'm not saying? either, and it was a pleasant surprise. Yeah. Um. Okay. I so, love how Rick was so calm. So calm. Well, I mean, you know what? This whole thing. You know what? Yeah. I mean, I mean, obviously, he's like, all right, this is fucking volatile. This is fucking crazy. This is unexpected. But of course, he's he's got to be like that, right? Because. Yeah. Why? Why would he? You know, what are you gonna fly off the handle? He needs these people. He doesn't want them to leave. So of course he's gonna fucking do that shit. But she that this pissed her off even more, dude. You know what I'm saying? Oh, don't talk down to me like I'm some scared little girl. It's like really? Yeah. She she. Really? You know. So so this idiot is like. And obviously I'm not a fan of Sherry. I mean, maybe some people were. I don't know. But I was not mm. a fan of Sherry. I wonder if there's anyone reading the comic that are like, fuck Rick, fuck Rick in the fucking. In That's a good question. I never. It just never occurred to me that people wouldn't, ro- you know, root for our. I know since the inception of Negan, people have switched over to Negan's side, and I guess by extension they'd be part of Sherry's side. Maybe. Well, I mean Negan. I mean, look, Negan's a fun character and all. I mean, you know, I mean, I, you know, where you and I are half converted to Negan at this point. You know what I'm saying? But not to say that yeah, we're, but, you know, but we're not gonna ever ditch Rick though. You know, to us, he, at yeah, least you the only and I, way I'd ever ditch Rick is if he pulled a governor. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you don't want that yeah. shit. Yeah. Anyway, ah. so yeah, I mean, we so, knew it was going to come back and bite him. She saw Negan on their side. Yeah, yeah, she didn't like that shit. Yeah, she's nah. like, and I just saw Negan on your side, didn't I? And he doesn't answer, and she flips the fuck out. I could kill you right now. Why aren't you scared? Yeah. It's, ah. Okay, so that's one thing. Sherry, before, you know, the time skip or whatever, she wasn't as dumb as she is now. But, I would you call it dumb? Rash, I wouldn't call it dumb. I, I, I think it's exactly what Rick says. You are insane. Like, you're yeah. not thinking straight. Like, you, 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 I don't know what you think. I don't know why. She, you know what the problem is? It's not Rick. It's Negan. It's Negan's fault. Yeah. It's and she and, and Dwight for letting it happen. You know she resents. Dwight. It doesn't matter whether she went willingly and whatever the case. She resents her husband. That's it, that's that always fucking happens. That exactly. always even in the con, even in the show she resents her husband. Come on, you yeah, know for his decisions he's made on his own in order to protect her. Of course, but even but even like think about it, dude. Even in like even even in like I mean, I could I wouldn't put it past my wife my wife in in real life to be like. If in the same situation, she of course she would probably resent me to be like, you know, yes, I agreed that I would do this for us, so you wouldn't get killed and I wouldn't get killed. But at the same time, yeah. I who wouldn't you? She wanted her Sherry wanted her husband to fight for him, and if he exactly. died, if he died trying to fight for her, then that would have been better to her. I think that that's how I feel. So so she's got a lot of fucking issues, and she just now. It's probably not as as she says what's going on with Rick, where she's like, "You you tell us what to do," and it's all. For, he's like, "No, no, 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 no. We we we're helping each other out. Like this is how we survive." She doesn't see it like that. She she'll she's never see it. She's probably still like that. thinking Negan's way. You know, you help me, and then screw you. I think I think exactly. She's just she's lost. She's lost, yeah. man. She's lost. So, you know, I love how Rick stops the first slap and then just takes the other two. It's like okay, yeah. You know, no, he stops the third slap. He takes the first two. He but, stops yeah. the third. God, I've been reading so many right to left comics lately. <laughs> <laughs> Manga, if you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. But I mean, this is just insane. Like, I want to say something after this, after we get through this. But yeah, so, so 
Now he's sitting here and he's like, "All right, I'm not, I'm not gonna kill this bitch, but she's out for fucking blood, right?" Yeah. I mean, she just if she goes insane, she's like, "I could gut you and leave you to bleed out." And Rick's like, "No," and then they topple over. But yeah, the world would be a better place without people like you. See, that's the point. She's seeing Negan. She sees Negan everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, so, that's exactly the point. And he's like, have you lost your mind? Here's the cool part. Have we seen him fight with his fucking claw yet? No, we haven't. And when I saw that, I was like, oh my god. I was like, yeah. So he's, <laughs> yeah, he's definitely, he's like, Shh. but this was crazy how she's like, she's like, at the bottom right, fucking choking him out. Like, that's fucking crazy. I was like, oh, come on. That bottom right panel, it it freaking gets me every time. I can't I know. help but go I, start laughing. I know. I was like, oh, crap. So then... This I had to watch a couple of times. Watch. I had to read a couple of times. Like, I was like, there's no way. And you see the little bit of blood there. And then it's like, oh, yeah, snapped her neck. And it's like, really? No, no, no. No, no. I think that it cracked her head. It snapped her neck. Look at her neck right down there. The bone bulging out. Oh. And she snapped. See, that's. Uh, see, all right. So, back. see, I thought that at first. But then I was like, wait, no, it couldn't have snapped. Now I, I I'm gonna say this is the weakest panel, the one where he tosses her off her, off yeah. him because that that you've got no you've got no motion there. Like I don't see any because then the next panel I saw her like up against the table. I'm like, wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. Like, oh, it he doesn't shoved. Really, he sh- they should have just done it from either a perspective or or a side on. Just do a side angle, yeah. showing her getting thrown off. Then that same panel would have been perfectly fine. I spit all over my screen. <laughs> The right? thing is, if she had been thrown back like that, her legs wouldn't still be underneath her like that. And I think they knew that at this point. And they were just like, right. let's not show the motion of it. I'm sure Kirkman then went through and redrew this multiple ways the first time. Here's the funny thing is like, I want to go back for a second. He's half, he's not half unconscious, but he's like, his eyes are starting to roll back in his head. And then he musters enough strength to... Adrenaline. Th- throw. Right, I get that. But here's what I'm saying. Again... Where's the where's the force in that? Where's the force? It doesn't well, make any sense to me. Like it's a little so weak. This is the weakest. If you part, watch man. as much UFC as I do, those guys can get down on the ground. They start grappling, and then I've seen it plenty of times. They're on top of the uh, top hold with the arm around it, the arm bar around mm-hmm. them, and out of nowhere, the guys will get up enough strength. They'll literally flip the whole situation. No, I get, yeah, I get, I get what you're saying, but I, it, I don't it's know. It's just pure adrenaline. That's what Rick's going off of, and that's what I they guess. were hoping that we'd understand. I guess. I just, I, I think this might have been the weakest part. Either way, it happened. Um, so not only does she snap her neck, which is just weird, but I guess um, she also cracks her skull open. Yeah, and I love and how it starts Rick's to like, bleed cheery? out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey. You, you have your eyes rolled back, your tongue's hanging out, and you're bleeding from the head. Sherry, are you there? So, right. So, um, so this shows up, and I'm like, oh, no. Like, what the fuck is going to fucking happen now, And right? it's, like, right there, the middle uh, panel there on the far right. Yeah. He's, like, touching right where her neck is snapped. And he's like, uh-oh. Uh-huh. And checking see, a pulse. Checking a pulse, right. And he's like, damn it. And then, and then what happens? Fucking Andrew <sighs> shows up. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I love how the timing is on this. You know, there's some time that's passed in this negotiation, and they show it really well by Andrea being back there. Yeah. So it's not all like a quick conversation. Oh, well, this, this, and this happened. And you know, they but pace it out. Good. I was hoping that she'd be like, "I saw the whole thing." You know, like I wanted her to be yeah, like, "I saw the whole thing." I like, think this works out a little bit better. I guess. Let's go to the next one though. So she passes out almost yeah she she trips i was like wait what she trips and then obviously uh you know they show up and we get this this last page you know yeah yeah this last page there the look on rick's face yep we've seen it before yep she's crying but, she's starting to yeah. cry you know and it's like damn man I and don't know. what i'm hoping would happen uh because I, I i read the wiki also because yeah. we do this afterwards of course and on the wiki, it says, shows the wound. And, and it doesn't say bite, because we don't I know told it's a you, bite. I yet. told you. I told you. It might, you know, it could yeah, be. I, I was referencing back to that from last week, or yeah, last month. month Jesus yeah. Christ. At this point, it's another <laughs> month, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I think I'm on your side. I think that might be a bullet wound. Yeah. 
it, it, I hope it is, because I really don't want to lose Andrea, but then again, I guess you could attribute the weak legs to blood loss. Oh, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Some plus, of a plus, effect. plus exhaustion, dude. She's yeah. just been riding and fighting. She's exhausted, dude. It's been a long-ass day, and, and, and then... And then that happened, and she's like, "Oh shit!" Like she just got overtaken, man. I get it. Yeah. You know, I, that I that I, I completely believe. But it's like, so all right. So now he's got to deal with. So now we got to deal with this. So like, w- w- one thing I wanted to say about this thing was I, uh, I, kudos to them, like like doing it quick, like get getting the sherry thing over real quick, and of course yeah. starting a new problem of how they're going to do that, which is going to be amazing. I can't wait to see what happens next year. But next year, damn it. Next next issue, next month, whatever. But I think I think you know I just you know I'm I'm happy kind of in a way that they that it was like it was in the same issue, not yeah. that I even dragged it out for two issues. That it was this issue, boom, did it. Like that's done. She's over now. You know, she's over. Not only that. Now can we talk about what might happen? So you've got not only do you have the saviors. What about Dwight? Uh, that's what I was wanting to get into because we have the next three. Uh, covers. Oh, do we? I haven't. Even, I don't even have them on here. Damn. Okay, so it, it, the next one is similar to this here, where their heads are together, though, and it looks like they're both grieving, crying, doing whatever. Rick has a gun in his hand. Yeah. Uh, I guess he's getting ready to shoot her in case she turns. Oh shit. Yeah. The next one after that is it looks like the Saviors bowing to Negan. Oh. And then issue 169, which is the last one we have currently, is Rick on his knees with Dwight holding an AR variant to his head. Oh, shit. From the back. Yeah. Damn. And I, I want to say that they don't take Sherry dying in a negotiation very well. Yeah, it seems that way. Damn, man. All right, well... And you know this is just in between, like, the actual, you know, titled segments. So I don't know what's going on. Yeah, shit. And 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 we're not done with the Whispers, though. Uh, we're not done yet, but I think Beta's we're Beta's still alive. Enough. Beta's still alive, and he's going to regroup. He's got to regroup. Their, their final... I mean, this was that was their final... Ooh. You know... <laughs> we could what? get something, something neat happening. Uh, I just thought about... Negan could take the place of Rick. Rick might die. Oh, shit. could be a twist. Wow. Yeah. You know what? I mean, I don't think I'd put that past him. No, not not at this point. Not with Negan's popularity. Not even with Dwight's popularity. I mean, they could legitimately take Rick's place. Do you think that the show, the show's Negan has has possibly altered? the landscape for the comic now mind you i'm aware and i'm sure everyone else is that Mm. these comics are not written last week they were written months ago like yeah they're written months ago and they're illustrated over the time you know what i'm saying so i mean so whatever's happening up to whatever that today how many scripts how many of the menu whatever that he's got written for the story you know i mean but then again do you think that they're taking that that they've obviously you know They've had this whole season. Now that season seven's over, yeah. they've had this whole season. So I mean, they're obviously he's been writing these scripts probably with, throughout this season, seeing probably throughout the, the last six months, I'd say. Right, give seeing the um the, the you know how popular Negan is or isn't, you know. So I don't know, man. I mean, that's a good question. I think like you know has has the popularity popularity of Negan on the show changed mm. what what could have possibly happened in the comic you know that is a good point i didn't think about and i i think that possibly could be the you know the the fact that shows jeffrey dean morgan negan is popular to a different extent than the comic negan which was popular for a different reason right and it might might somehow alter his projection but i don't see it altering it too much yeah I'm some- sure Kirkman has a plan for him. Though. Yeah, that'd be something that we probably find out after like f- issue like you know 500 or something, or when the series ends and they do retrospective post mortem yeah. or whatever for it. You know, no no pun intended with the post mortem. Um, but anyway, all right, cool, man. So uh, I mean, th- this was this was this was such a I mean, this is such a good setup. Um, obviously, this was a setup 
issue but at the same time you know it was like i mean i i, I enjoyed it man i enjoyed it favorite favorite scene favorite uh it's, it's just gonna be when rick stops that slap oh yeah how about the yeah. the, the the following fight the following fight's all right but that slap that uh, just shows rick's had enough he's tired of listening to the crap deal with it yeah i um i think i think mine would be the the ensuing fight like that just kind of took me off guard like oh shit this bitch is gonna fight this guy like she had no intention of talking with this man she wanted maybe to fight a surprise him. knife too yeah you know um and then i but i also enjoyed when the guns got drawn and yeah from from when from when dwight confiscated the gun back and had everyone do that to when rick was like stop it you know like that was a cool part i really enjoyed that part you know yeah. so I and picture. definitely carl's reunion with rick oh that was cool too yeah that was a good one yeah the good one, man. A lot of good parts this issue. Yeah. Very centralized comic great issue. Great issue, yeah. And it was great that we, because, you know, it's been a while, and I read it, and I was like, oh, damn, God. I love, this is one of those comics where you're like, damn it, I'm so happy I read this thing. It's like, oh, I totally forgot how yeah. awesome this is every month. Not that I forget, but you kind of forget, you know? Unless you read. A month is kind of long to wait. Yeah, unless you reread throughout the month or, or you, know, keep, you know, whatever. But I'm sure people do yeah. it too. Anyway, I think we've gone on long enough, my man. Yep. Uh, very, very, very awesome stuff here, guys. Uh, as always, let us know what you thought of this issue. And um, I mean, that's that's it. Uh, if, if you want, if you missed any of our Walking Dead stuff for the for the show on AMC, go check out the season seven playlist. We got some stuff in there, uh, like what ifs. We have you know the recaps, the reviews, all that cool stuff. Live reactions on the episodes. And um, uh, yeah, Jess, anything else uh, we want to uh, mention? Just our uh, our normal sponsor that we have is Comic Blitz Third Person Pod. On um, checkout, gets you uh, get you three months, three bucks, buck a month, unlimited comics on your iOS, Android, all that. Unfortunately, they don't have Skybound Comics, so you won't get The Walking Dead. Not but you'll yet. get plenty of other things. Not yet. I'm sure they'll they'll get them eventually. I'm sure they're working. As on Comic it. Blitz grows, and they are growing, so that's pretty cool. So go check out ComicBlitz.com. Check that out. Also, you can get us on all the socials at Third Person Pod. Um, that's about it, guys. We will see you on the next issue. Don't forget to leave those comments. And if you wouldn't mind, throw us a like if you if you like to. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this issue, this episode. We'll see you on the next uh, third-person comic review. That's it. Peace out.